easy to get into the negative belief that your financial situation will not improve. Often, we believe in the lies and the game being played around us. Your neighbours might tell you that you can only be rich if you have a rich parent. I believe the same damn lies until I discovered the fact that 68% of the world's richest people are self-made. I was curious, so I did some research. I wanted to find out what were the common habits among rich people. After I found out, I started practicing these habits in my life. Hey, it's Cass here. Welcome to The Freedom Show. I'm now going to explain five habits that will make you rich. Number one, rich people always create several income streams. As Warren Buffett said, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you'll work until you die. That's why passive income has become so popular nowadays. Every millionaire has on average seven income streams. And I've also tried to do this same thing in my life. When I was low on income, my focus was on saving money and enhancing my skills so that I could jump into a higher earning job. And eventually, after a few years, I invested my savings in a house, and then I invested in a startup. I then did some research and started investing in online digital assets. My goal is to create at least 10 income streams before 2025. If you're wanting to know how to create passive income streams, you should definitely check out this book on passive income ideas on Amazon. It explains 20 ideas in detail. If you read this book with an open mind, I know you will get at least one idea that will hit you and inspire you to start a passive income stream today. So the second habit is also related to books. Rich people read books. Jeff Bezos is a computer science graduate and he reads books like crazy. Jeff has said in past interviews that he learns things from novels rather than non-fiction books. Warren Buffett has even said that if you read between 200 to 500 pages a day, that creates a compound effect in your brain. Look, now I know you probably can't read books like Warren Buffett for five to six hours a day, but it is possible to read at least 10 pages a day. And that's what I've implemented in my life. I read about accounting and investing quite a lot. I also read books on online business, online marketing, and a lot of novels. After a certain time, I realised that my brain was giving me direction on various things. Most importantly though, I got precise, practical knowledge on investing and entrepreneurship. I know for a fact that I am now getting the dividends out of my reading habit. You can read books on various money-making topics. Make sure that you read books about passive income ideas, accounting for beginners, stock market investing and cryptocurrency investing. Make sure you try to understand finance concepts and read beginner's accounting books because without knowledge, you can't crack anything. The third habit, rich people start early investing in the stock market. As Ramit Sethi says, you're not getting any younger one year from now. You better invest now. If you invest $50 per week, you'll have $2,705 one year from now. And after five years, your investment would be worth $15,867. Skip forward to 10 years and you'll have $39,181. Now just imagine if that was $300 a week. Could you even imagine how much money you would have after 10 years time? Still, you might have a few invisible scripts in your head that say that the stock market is all about gambling or that maybe only the rich can make money. Well, it is gambling but only if you don't understand the market. And you can definitely start investing with just $100. To make investing easier, read this book, Master Stock Market Investing in Two Hours. It explains step-by-step processes. In fact, you don't have to have any financial knowledge, but this book will definitely still make sense for you. You will definitely understand how to make money with this great money-making machine that we call the stock market. Number four, rich people do some serious financial planning. I'm not talking about budgeting here. Budgeting is for beginners. Rich people look at their holistic finance. They plan methodically as to what they want to achieve in five years and even 10 years from now. They plan strategically on how much debt to acquire, how much investment balance they should grow, and also how they protect their assets through the appropriate insurance. Also, they plan continuously for their short-term goals. In short, whatever they do, they do some serious strategic planning. 
As a young professional, you can start budgeting and tracking your own expenses. You can stop buying things that you just don't need. You're saving as much money as possible so that you can invest later on. So I had a five-year financial plan after starting my career and I reviewed this plan every six months. I tried to increase my income by other means and I tried to do well in my job and received a pay rise. Number five, side hustles. Rich people always start a side hustle, even if it's to a smaller scale. Current research shows that more and more people are now interested in starting a side hustle to cover their monthly expenses and build up their emergency savings. Even US presidents have written books and have had speaking gigs just to earn a few extra bucks. Yes, it is true that you can't be rich by only doing a side hustle. However, a few people have become rich through their side hustle. A lot of internet celebrities started their business as a part-time gig and later taking their business to full-time. Jot down a few side hustle ideas and experiment on those ideas. Treat this as your passion project and after a few years, I'm sure you would have created at least five passive income streams. In summary, you can be rich by starting these habits. Are you confident about your financial future? Have you already started one of these habits? If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel. To invest in the stock market, you can check out this video. See you next time. Ciao.